All right, so I'm dropping the spoiler off the paint. Should be back in two, three days. All right, so as I'm waiting for the spoiler from paint, I gotta get all the old adhesive off. So I'm using a plastic putty knife. I have the old holes covered with 3M tape and then covered with painter's tape just to cover it. But I'm gonna use the scraper to get the big chunks of adhesive and then I'm gonna use an eraser wheel to get the rest off. So begin the process. All right. Now get a little bit of the eraser wheel in here. Now from my understanding, you don't want to sit on a spot too much. You want to keep moving as much as you can. Because if you sit on a spot too much, then you run the potential of burning out your paint. So you got to keep moving. And don't worry about all that shit that gets kicked up everywhere. Just rinse your car off. I'm probably going to clean it with a little goo gone once I'm rinsed as well. As you can see, I got all the adhesive off. Now I need to just go rinse the car off because it covers it. Stupid light. It covers it and all that eraser material. So I'm going to go rinse the car and then I'm going to clean this up. And just like that, quick rinse off and it is all gone. Bada bing, bada boom. So I just picked my spoiler up from paint and they did a pretty good job of matching it. I'll throw it on later today. Quick little test fit. Sheesh. God, that looks so good. They matched it really well. I may have to wait till tomorrow because the weather sucks, but. All right, so I'm prepping my spoiler to put on the adhesive. I'm gonna be using some plastic adhesion promoter and then i got my double-sided 3m tape so i'm gonna go ahead and rub it with some alcohol get the promoter on and get that on cue the time lapse All right, so I got my spoiler all stickied up, but I want the extra security. So I'm taking the stock bolts from the stock spoiler. I put a little bit of 3M on it. I'm gonna use a hole saw, make a hole big enough for this, slip it through, use the 3M to hold it in place so that I can bolt it to the factory holes while also using the 3M, so. And just like I said, drilled the holes. And just prop it up here. Put on now I have a prep towel which removes greases and waxes. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and start to prep the area where it's going to be adhering to. Get a good wipe and I'm going to flip it. Go ahead and use another portion of it. wipes are a decent size so I recommend flipping it and using as many times as you want to get the best 
it possible. Right. It says to wash your hands, but I don't know. Well, that's still air drying. Now to prep these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear a little bit off. Get just enough and then have it stick out the side so you can easily pull it off once everything's aligned. For everything, now I'm going to go ahead and start lining it up. back in in a fly oh. just like that the factory bolts are in their place giving me a little bit of extra support down with some alcohol. Just like that, it's mint. Looks great. Placement's pretty symmetrical as you're gonna get. This side's a little overhanging, so definitely could have gone that way more, but at the end of the day, these spoilers aren't perfect, so the mounting's never gonna be perfect. If I care, I'll take it off and have a professional do it someday, but for now. All right, so the video cut out, I guess, but um, I'm very happy with the spoiler. The fitment of it is pretty good for the price range. The look of it is amazing. Looking back there and seeing that nice duck bill while I'm driving, I, I love it. But yeah, totally recommend it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Kyle Works on Cars. Have a great day. I'm gonna end the video with a little point of view because I'm out in the nice country-ish area of town with some nice roads. So yeah, have a great day.